Right then, so, everyone's been going on and on and on that they want to see one of these things being painted. So, seeing as Jack's about to start work on this, we'll uh, set the GoPro up and do a bit of a time lapse. So this is a um, Czechoslovakian OT something, I've forgotten, that's been dressed up by a former owner to look like one of the German half tracks. Done a rather nice job of it. But unfortunately, the chap in his later years decided to paint it with uh, wood preserver and made a bit of a mess of it. So Jack's going to give it a slap of paint, the first coat. I'm going to stick the GoPro up in the corner for a bit of a time lapse on. And you can see him work. He's made a wonderful job. I didn't really want him to hear me say that, but he has made a cracking job of the other two things he's done. So he's been trusted. Are you alright with that? So yeah, so this is going sand and then like the splotchy camo over the top, very Rommel-esque. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let you guys be the judge of what sort of job he makes. So yeah, we'll stick, uh, stick the camera up, cue the music and uh, see what sort of it comes up like. Thank you. 
So do you want to explain why this looks a bit shit? Because <laughs> uh, I did. Um, no, basically, it's just a primer. Um, so it will be going the proper German desert sand tomorrow. Full um, uh, Rommel. Yeah, full, full Rommel desert fox or whatever it is, I don't know. It looks bloody good though, mate. Yeah, and then the idea is to do the desert all over, and then it's going to have like a green and like a pinky brown kind of uh, speckled look, I suppose. Baby turd brown. Yeah. Yeah, maybe well, it's, it's like a hot chocolate brown. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird colour, but it's the colour it's meant to be. So it's looking. Uh, that's the colour scheme we're going for. Oh. The first time I've ever done dappled, so it could look really shit. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, it looks fucking mint. Oh, I've got them electrics to sort. Yeah. Because some wonderful person has used. I don't know if you can see that a household chocolate block, and then a junction box off a of Ford Fiesta. So I'm going to pull that apart and solder it all properly. Yeah, so and they'll, Jack, they'll never work again. Basically. Well, especially because Jack has been extremely wonderful and painted over all the wires now. So the no colour coding, mate, no worries. The colour coding has just gone to shit. My pleasure. A little bit of thinners will get that all off. He's, he's, he's just making my thinners will melt the fucking um, plastic. No, behave. You don't put that much on. You're not dipping the fucking stuff in it. Yeah. Anyway, Jack's actually done some work that yeah. looks. Uh, but to be well, fair, I these things see. weren't painted the best when yeah. they left the factory and then they were shot at. Well, and this one, I think somebody's at, been at it with a sledgehammer because it's got a couple of... Couple well, of we've got to remember as well, this isn't a, a genuine... Well, no, obviously it's not. No, but I don't think that came out of the factory that then. I don't know. Any opportunity to slag off the Germans, I'm going to take. It was Maybe I'll check Yeah, but that it's meant to be German, isn't it? Yeah, it's German, yeah, German. So yeah, half track in primer, and we'll stick another video up when this dickhead's pulled his thumb out of his arse and, uh, and finished it. But seeing as people wanted to see a, a time lapse of some painting going off, there you go. You asked, we did. Don't expect it again. I'll see thee. So unfortunately, the GoPro crashed in the rest of the painting of the um, of the half track. So you have to have a reveal now. So she's finished. She's done. She's just back from the We Have Ways Fest. What a job! How good is that? Now Jack painted this all in house. A big thanks to uh, Matt Walton for the number plates. Made a cracking job of them. But how good does that look?
the interior still needs finishing. It's painted. I just wants a bit of putting back together. We need to make some extra floor plates. Uh, the seats just want a bit of a clean. But the clutch works now, which is a big, big improvement. You can tell the boys had a few beers at the show. We've got the other seat to put back in. It's obviously not original, but they're functional. And it is a good thing just to trundle about with a few mates, this thing. But yeah, I think Jack deserves a slap on the back for this because he's done an absolutely cracking job of it. So we'll get a good video of this running and driving for you soon. But I think she looks absolutely amazing. Like I say, apologies for the GoPro crashing. I'm uh, rather annoyed about that. But we've got some footage, so that's in the video. And yeah, look, another sneaky preview of the uh, of the ARV. Video to come on that very, very shortly. So yeah, I will, uh, I'm sorry that this has just got chopped onto the end of the last video, but uh, I thought you ought to see how uh, how she looks now she's done. So yeah, we'll, uh, we should be having this at Harbour at War with us as well. Um, I think this is going to tank truck some firepower along with a load of other stuff. So you'll see this out and about on the shows. But anyway, for now, it's bedtime. I'll see thee.